Hello and welcome to the PA Matches Cast. I'm Brian Perkis, and today we've got a 1v1 between Neptunio and Merid 4. Ne excuse me, Neptunio in the blue is a uh, longtime Planetary Annihilation player, going back to Alpha, if I remember correctly, and he used to be one of the top ranked Planetary Annihilation players out there. I haven't seen him playing a lot lately, so I think he's been fairly inactive, so we'll see how much of his uh, skills he has retained. Going for an air factory first with a fabrication aircraft, that's a risky move, one I tend to recommend not doing. Merid 4 is another skilled Planetary Annihilation player who has competed in a large number of tournaments and has done well. I've also personally teamed up with him on 2v2 tournaments. So uh, we, we get along well and work together well. I have not really played against Neptunio, though. Neptunio's got an air, uh, a hummingbird, a fighter coming on out. You're going to be doing some scouting with that. Aircraft are so very valuable for, for scouting. Uh, Merid's got a bunch of docks running around, including some skitters rolling off the ramp that are going to be uh, going out to scout and an air factory being built. Uh, looks like Neptunio isn't using his fighter to scout, but rather is using his fighter to keep his air fabber alive and control the airspace over his his base, and Neptunio has encountered one of Merid's bots, and Neptunio's got all of his bots headed on towards uh, that, the, that bot from Merid to, um, under the premise that he's probably down in that direction. Neither... P no, no, he did scout out Nep uh, Merid's base. I guess maybe he did have a fighter run around to go scout. Must have missed that. Uh, Merid has seen some of those bots and is... Yep, and there we go. He is now... has now scouted out Neptunio's base. So with this many bots running around, we're going to start seeing some action. And first blood. Actually, first blood was whatever scouted out Merit's base. Uh, let's see. Mm, interesting. Merit is also going for a fabrication aircraft. Fa fabrication aircraft scout out very, very quickly, but can be shot down with ease. So they're a little bit risky. To, to use for scouting. Bot fabricators running around to claiming more metal and uh, Merid's got these bots to protect this expanding fabricator. Very, very important. And got a little bit of fighting here, there, and everywhere as bots are running around trying to find those expanding docks. A little bit of micro going on over here, and Merit is desperately trying to get his bots to move on in and protect his expansions and protect his expanding bots. And here comes some some bolos. Not going to get there in time to save that metal extractor, but they could be uh, could uh, make a difference in protecting this the expanding fabricator. This, that's the downside of tanks when fighting against bots. Bots can just run away. <clears throat> but in a direct confrontation, tanks will always win. Neptunia is doing a fantastic job of harassing Merid, keeping Merid on the back, uh, back foot, trying to defend rather than attack, which is very important in Planetary Annihilation. Ooh, this bot has stopped just short and is pe uh, pecking away at this uh, metal extractor, but is not targeting the fabrication bot. Getting that fabrication bot would be a very big win. Ooh, it looks like Merit is... Ooh, nice! Merit is building a forward um, radar, which is going to give him almost full vision over over uh, Neptunio's base, provided that it doesn't get shot down. And that f that uh, fabrication bot is going to get away and live, but more uh, docks are coming in, going to be able to get a few metal extractor kills. Got to be careful, Is he's drawing attention over to this uh, this radar, that which is now completed, and look at this. 
Ooh, not quite full vision, but still, that's, that's rather helpful. And those bots are going to stop just short of discovering that radar as uh, Merid has not been expanding a whole lot. Keeps on getting raided by by uh, Neptunio, which is why Neptunio's got such a large um, such a large economy compared to Merit, and Merit is now losing out on more more metal expansions as these bots are running around chasing down the air fabricator. Down goes that one air fabricator, and it looks like those are also going to get destroyed. Merritt has got these bots running around doing some raiding, but unfortunately, they're not finishing off all of the metal extractors, and this is where area attack commands are so helpful. Um, man, Merritt is... Merritt is not doing good. He's being raided on all sides by those bots and is not not doing well uh, defending against them. He does have a very large bot force that he is not doing anything with, which is a bit of a mistake. He could be getting a lot of of raiding in if he were to just use those bots. There's lots of metal extractors over here, which Merid has vision on some of them. And this is, um, in situations like this, this is where planet-wide area patrols with fighters and humming er, uh, hummingbirds and fireflies is so helpful. So you can spot outlying metal extractors like this. Some people, uh, late game, will will uh, build a, build a air factory and have it build nothing but hummingbirds or um, fireflies and set them on a planet-wide area patrol, which can be very, very useful. Merritt's finally got his bots going out on a raid to hit some of these uh, outlying metal extractors. This is a large force. We'll be able to finish them all off. No problem whatsoever. Looks like Neptunio is sending uh, units to go deal with it while he's got tanks running around in the opposite direction to do some uh, two-pronged attacks and raiding, which is a very, very nice move. Uh, ha attacking two sides at once. Very difficult to defend against and uh, very good for raiding. Merritt's got to be careful. There's a bunch of tanks up ahead. He's not going to be able to deal with them. Merritt does have vision of these incoming units and he can judge based on their speed that they are tanks. He does not have a whole lot to deal with them. He does have a lot of bomb bots and Merritt does like his bomb bot snipe, so I'm gonna need to keep an eye on those. I might get a bomb bot snipe. And a bit of a skirmish going on over here as bots clash, and it looks like this is going to be the end of Merritt's group of bots. Man, I love the awesome protect projectiles mod. Yep. Now, where are those bomb bots? Bomb bots hanging out on the backside of the planet probably going to see some units going around trying to scout out uh, Neptunio's commander uh, so these uh, bomb bots can go for the snipe. Bomb bots are fantastic with the recent buff. They're fantastic at sniping enemy commanders. And, yep, more bomb bots heading out to reinforce those, and these docks are going to be moving in. They're probably going to just go straight into the base to try and spot the enemy commander. And, uh, yep, here goes the fighters trying to scout out the enemy commander and just miss it. Ooh, just miss the commander. Need to, and it looks like these bots are going to spot the commander, and we're going to see those bomb bots head on out on probably instantaneously as soon as the commander spotted. Commander is spotted. Bomb bots sitting idle. Oh, there we go. Here come the bomb bots, and we are probably going to see a bomb bot commander snipe. Yep, here come the bomb bots, and. Kaboom! This is why you always, late game, you always keep your commander in the middle of your base, uh, surrounded by buildings and units and whatnot to keep him alive. Uh, 
uh, to, for things like Bombot Snipes. Uh, very well played by by uh, both players. Neptunio had, I think, Neptunio had that game in the bag. Uh, Neptunio had a much larger economy and more units, and Merid was not long for this world. So Merid went for one of his favorite tactics, the Bombot Snipe. It's a very effective tactic, especially if you don't don't keep your commander in the center of your base. All that needed to be done was just have the commander like right over here, maybe. Either way. That was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, th that was a community submitted match. Thanks you, thank you, Merid4, for submitting that. If you all have a match that you think other people would enjoy watching, let me know. Head on over to pamatches.com/submit. Don't forget to drop a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you next time.